Hello guys, Matt here and welcome to my fragrance obsession. In tonight's episode, I'm going to be doing another review and first impressions of a fragrance from Al Rahab. So it's been a while since I did an Al Rahab fragrance video, so I thought I would do one tonight considering, you know, I've just been chilling out all day. I have a candle actually burning right next to me right here, which is in fact a Yankee candle, which I think, I think it's a... Uh, Midsummer Night, something like that. It smells really good though, and it's 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 creating a nice atmosphere. So I thought I would review a fragrance from Al Rahab that, to me, I have always wanted to smell. And I'm so glad I finally got a bottle of this. It is a little 6ml roll-on, because I found out that I only want to collect the roll-ons. I'm not really interested in smelling the sprays. I do have one Al Rahab fragrance in, in the spray, which is Silver, which I will be doing a review on pretty soon. But... Um, I'm just mostly interested in the roll-ons, you know. So the fragrance that we're going to talk about tonight is very overlooked. Not a lot of people are talking about this Al Rahab scent. Um, to be honest, a lot of the Al Rahab fragrances I reviewed have been overlooked, and not a lot of them are popular. So this one is probably the king of being unpopular from the House of Al Rahab, because just a lot of people that I know who collect Al Rahabs haven't been reviewing it. Sat Safa. Now guys, I would just like to apologise because I was actually wrong about what I just said before about them nobody really talking about this fragrance because there actually is another review for this fragrance on YouTube. I will leave a link to it down below but it's actually been done by a very very nice couple and check it out and you'll you'll see the rest of it. So yeah, Sat Safa. What can I really tell you about this? Well, not a lot because I don't know a lot about it. But uh, let's actually look up what Sat Safa means. So I'm really really intrigued. What does Sat Safa mean? Okay, it's just bringing up Al Rahab, so it must be an Al Rahab made up name. It says here Sat Safa is a perfume for both women and men, composed of oud and amber. It is presented in various concentrations and shapes. Wow, thanks for the help. I'm looking at it on. Um, on Fragranica here, and there's a really nice bowl. Do you guys want to see this bowl? Look, check this out. Whew, how beautiful is that? Definitely not this, that's for sure. But let's just go through the packaging. So we get this dark green box with this really nice trim. We get Sat Safa in really like nice writing. The S's actually remind me of snakes. I don't know why, but it's really cool. Uh, Al Rahab, then we get free from alcohol, six mil. Just all the usual stuff. Uh, yeah, and let's look at these. Oh wow, this is nice. Okay, this is what the uh, little roll-on looks like. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. I like that. Yeah, so Sat Safa Concentrated Perfume made by Al Rahab. Let's just get straight into it, shall we? So, looking at the notes, there isn't a lot of notes for this. It's not like a notes breakdown. I think it only consists of Oud, Rose, and Amber. Okay, so let's just get straight onto it. Now, looking at everyone's suggestions of what they think it smells like, there's not a lot. I mean, someone compared it to Chanel Number no. 5. I don't know about that, but uh, let's just let's just have a look, shall we? So, let's put some on my hand. Well, actually, we'll put it on my wrist. Oh, there we go. It's coming out. Okay, so pretty decent roll-on. Doesn't smell very strong. But anyway, let's just get straight onto it. So, Sat Safa by Al Rahab. What's my first impressions of this? Here we go. Okay, that is quite strong. It didn't leap off my skin, but when you put your nose there, it's very strong. Okay, so this is uh, not what I was expecting. Uh, I was expecting something quite different. To me, this smells like a very strong exotic fragrance. It actually smells like another fragrance from Al have as well that I've got called Sandos, which is actually a very, very nice fragrance. That's another Oud Rose combination, but I think that one's also got uh, sandalwood in it. But... Uh, it actually smells very, very similar to that, only this one smells a little bit sweeter. Um, yeah, it smells really, really good. It smells just like a very exotic smell. It reminds me of, you know, Saudi Arabia. It just reminds me of the Middle East in general. Oh, wow, this is strong stuff. Like, it doesn't smell like something that uh, I necessarily might wear outside of the house, if I'm honest with you. I mean, it smells good. It smells nice. But to me, this just smells too Middle Eastern. Do you know what I mean? Way too exotic. But it's not a bad thing. Like, I really love the smell of this, but 
whether or not other people are going to like it, I don't know. So I am getting a bit of an oud smell. It's not like really strong. Like that's the thing. I was expecting the oud to be really strong in this fragrance, yet it's not. It's very mellow, and I do get a lot of sweetness. And I guess that I guess that is coming from the the amber, but it just smells super oriental, super strong, super sweet, very herbal, and a little bit spicy. But it does smell incredibly beautiful. It just wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting something a little bit more unique. But this is really, really nice. Really, really nice. It, I am getting a little bit of a rose. I think the rose is mixed with the oud, making the oud smell completely different. It doesn't smell like a, ro like a, like a rose on its own. It doesn't exactly smell like an oud on its own. But I think with the rose and the oud mixed together, it's making this different smell. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's nice. It's very nice. I was just expecting something a little bit different. But uh, I do really, really like this one. Um, just not exactly unique. You know, that's the only problem. I think this is going to last a long time. I mean, just look, just smelling it right now, it actually does feel like it could last for maybe about six, seven hours. Yeah. But the only problem is, I don't know when someone would wear this. That's That's the thing, because with it being like totally like Middle Eastern and, you know stuff i it, it to me it just smells like like too middle eastern you know like i it's this is i wouldn't exactly wear this to the mall i wouldn't exactly smell this on a like want to smell like this on a date so if i was going to saudi arabia or if i was going somewhere in the middle east fair enough but it's too different but i really really do like this smell it smells really really nice i tell you this would actually smell really nice um, in a candle. So, I might have to take a bit of oil out and maybe put it in the candle. But yeah, it's not bad. It's really, really nice. It just, it's it's a nice sort of oud and rose combo with a little bit of that, that amber underneath making it very smell, like, smell very sweet. But it's not bad. It's definitely not a bad, uh, bad smell. I'm actually really happy with it. I just was expecting something a little bit more unique. So guys, please do check out the review that I've left in the description of this video. It's been done by a wonderful couple. And I believe they were the only ones doing a review on this fragrance, so hands off to them. And uh, of course, guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this review. And if you like Al Rahab, tell me what your favorite Al Rahab fragrances are. I'm pretty sure I've asked you that before. But yeah, let me know again, because I'd love to know. And if you have smelled this fragrance, let me know your thoughts on it. So guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Keep smelling good. Have a wonderful evening. I hope you're all having a wonderful evening, just like me, because I'm really enjoying myself right now. Keep smelling good, and bye-bye for now.